Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are talking about 10 things that women say they want but can't handle in a man. I am so excited for this episode, guys, and hopefully my voice is not too bad. I am just getting over some sickness. It was just a cold, so hopefully it's not like nail scratching on a chalkboard kind of annoying, but if you think so, just, you know, let me know in the comments. I have pretty thick skin. <laughs> Okay, so just like a couple episodes, I feel like I was super surprised at how many of these I came up with when I was brainstorming. Like, I think I started off thinking that this would be an episode of five things that women say that they want, but they just can't handle within a man specifically. And I don't know, I probably have more than 10, but I just, you know, 10's a nice number, so I stopped there. Um, so if you, in your experience, have had relationships or friendships, like, you know, whether it's romantic or not, let me know in the comments, like, if you've experienced women saying that they want one thing, and then when you give it to them, like, they just, they can't handle it, you know, it's actually problematic for your relationship. Okay, without further ado, starting with number one, a man that takes the lead. Because there are so many women, they will say that they want this, right? But it's until she realizes it means that she has to trust in that man. Like, deep down, she has to believe that he has her best interest at heart and that he's capable, right? Like, it takes those two things. And let's face it, there is so much toxic messaging out there that men are not trustworthy, you know, that they're cheaters, they're liars and that they are nothing special, right? Like that a woman is just as capable as him. So I think that we can all agree that that messaging is really out there. And the problem with this messaging is that it's really hard to find a woman that has not internalized it. And because she has not internalized it, is able to let a man take the lead long-term within a committed relationship. Number two, emotions, right? Specifically, specifically the negative ones like anger, frustration, sadness, fear, anxiety. Many women will say that they want a man to be able to express these emotions because they, women objectively, they know that a person that can express these emotions are mentally healthier, right? Because they know that about themselves. However, when it really comes down to it, they end up seeing a man in a different light because their idea of a man is still based in a lot of toxic masculinity where a man is viewed as strong if he is stoic, you know? So if he is not expressing these emotions. Number three, vulnerability. This is very similar to emotions because whether it's through his verbalizing negative emotions or opening up about something that has happened to him or something that he's embarrassed about or something that he fears would be misunderstood about himself, whatever it is, he wants to be listened to and not seen as any less than as a man. So a woman that says that she wants this out of a man because she wants to have a deeper connection, she can't then change how she treats him once she knows this information, right? It's counterintuitive. It's really messed up. Like she should actually just feel like she knows the real him when she finds this information out and she should accept him. Number four, you guys are gonna love this one, logic. Because women have a hard time putting logic over emotions. So while she says she wants a logical man because that's a man that can figure anything out, her ability to partner and respect his logic as equal to her emotional thinking is going to get in her way. Five, a sense of humor. <laughs> you know who you are, ladies. Like, you're the sensitive ones, right? Like, you say you want that sense of humor, but then you can't take it. Six, status. Because with status comes a lot of hands pulling for his time. And he is also a man that has attention, right? He's known in the community. 
he's well liked by his friends group. The bottom line is that for a woman to really be able to handle a man that has a high level of status is that she really needs to be pretty self-sufficient. She needs to be like willing to share his time. Like she can't be super demanding or needy for his time. And let's face it, that's kind of hard to come by nowadays. Seven, intelligence. Women will say that they want an intelligent man because an intelligent man is more likely to be a successful man, right guys? Um, but there are way too many women that also want to be the ones in control. <laughs> So the problem is, is that there might be a power struggle between her wanting to control him and him being way more qualified to make the decisions. Number eight, high work ethic. I get this, ladies. You know, you want a man that is willing to put in the hard day's work because then he's a good provider, right? However, <laughs> in the same breath, a lot of you ladies will say that you don't get enough time with him. You know, like you want him to work harder, but you also want more time with him. Well, the problem with that is when you don't see that those two things conflict. And that really puts a man in a difficult position, right? Like he doesn't know how to make both of those things work because logically they don't work. Like if you're spending a lot more time on one of those things, you literally don't have as much time available unless you're just not sleeping. <laughs> You don't have as much time available to put towards the other thing. And so the man is left a little dumbfounded on how to fulfill his lady's needs in that area. Number nine. Oh, you guys are going to love this one. A man with money. <laughs> ladies, at least on the internet, will say all day long that they require a man to have a certain amount of financial stability which is fair to a degree, guys, like, because yes, everyone should be responsible with money. But the thing about a man with a lot of money is that that man, he might not just fit into the box of, you know, making six figures a year. And that's what women think a lot of times is required of a man that has a lot of money. No, because that man that has a lot of money even though he may not be a hugely high earner, it's because he doesn't use it carelessly. Even men that are high earners, like for them to be really financially successful long term, it's because they don't spend their money carelessly. They save it, they invest it, uh, which means that he's not going to spend it as lavishly on a woman, especially just a woman that he's dating, you know, if it's not his wife. Also, especially if this is a young man in his 20s or 30s. So with all that being said, a woman that says that she wants a man with money probably actually can't handle a man with money. 10, I'm going to try not to blush on this one and I'm going to keep it short. <laughs> a man that is well endowed because some ladies that think the bigger the better, uh, they haven't, <laughs> they haven't experienced it in life. All right, that's all I'm gonna say. We're just gonna end it there on a high note, you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I will see you next week.